Hey guys, gonna make this video for you to show you how to change the handedness of our scanning system. Our scanning system is very unique in that we have the ability to change the direction from which the beam comes very easily. Right now, this is set up for the beam coming in from this direction and projecting out in this direction. That's what we call right-handed. Uh, in this video, we're gonna show you how to switch things over to make it left-handed. And this could be done like I say, on our system, it can be done very easily, um, and on everybody else's system, it's extremely difficult to do this. So, um, first of all, I'm gonna start with the software here. When the software is running and operational, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, you can activate the various tunings that are stored in the software. You can open up the scope with this button here. You can open up a function generator with this here. And you can see right now that we're scanning a pretty slow uh, sine wave. I could switch this to a quadrature square wave or an in-phase square wave, stuff like that. It was just doing this kind of for illustration purposes to show that the scanner is actually scanning. I hope you can see that there uh, in this video. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is um, we'll just turn the system off. We'll just remove power from the system and disconnect the scanners. Uh, so in preparation for removing the scanners from the XY mount, we'll remove these little bumper screws a regular old hex driver will work, and um, uh, in the vi video uh, notes, we will convey the size of the hex drive for this, but they just unscrew. It's just a regular old counterclockwise motion here to unscrew them. Um, and we will then take a regular old uh, hex key, and we include the hex key with the, um, with the, X, with the system when we ship it and we'll just un, uh, this, this is an old system I happen to have in house, but just uh, unscrew them and, and remove the scanners. Then it's a matter of taking them out apart. You know, fortunately, most of the systems that we deliver have a, uh, a mount that is with two pieces, not just a single piece. So what you do is take out the screw that goes from the X to the Y, and take out the, the little screws here that also go from the X to the Y. Like that. So then this piece here, which was over here, could be moved over to this side by putting the screws back in. And I'm gonna start with just the bottom screws here because there are no alignment pins or other features which keeps the, um, these two pieces aligned. This has got to be done manually uh, with a straight edge or otherwise. So you can see here how this is kind of flopping around here. And so what it means is that you need a, a bottom reference and also preferably a, a horizontal reference here uh, you could use a straight edge, um, you know, straight metal edge, which I didn't bring for the purpose of this video, but I'll just do it kind of by hand here. So I'm just holding all this down with my fingers while tightening the, um, tightening the screws like that. And you'll know if you have it right because it feels pretty smooth and flat. Uh, and this is already pretty good and certainly good enough for the purposes of this video. So, um, then a matter of just putting this stuff back in. And uh, and what you could do if you want to is go ahead and flip the mirrors over just by hand, just like that, just in preparation for operation on this side. Uh, that would be the kind of the easiest thing to do is just to kind of flip them over by hand. Um, like that. And... Um, you know, just, just momentarily, what I'm gonna do is just kind of momentarily tighten this down just so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, let's see, this is the X axis on our uh, driver here. Um, we we make the, the one on the left side of the board X and the one on the right side of the board Y and they kind of rhyme like that, left X, white, right Y. So, um, so I'll plug this back in now, but um, actually I won't. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and apply power to the system with the scanners disconnected. 
you will need to operate the software in the more in the more capable method. Normally we ship it where it only works in this method, but if you press the computer key, press and hold this control key while right clicking on this button right here. So you have to press and hold control while clicking here at the same time. And when you do that, it unlocks the advanced features of the software and it will remember this forever. If you want to do this and then give it back to junior personnel, you can just do that same thing again by press and hold control and right click on this and it turns it back into the to the dumb mode. Um, but uh, I'm going to do this and then you come over here to this advanced tab here, click on this and this blue area here scrolls. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see uh, normal or inverted, right? And so normally the normal is for right-handed and it says right here for right-handed X, Y mounts and uh, inverted is for left, uh, left-handed. And what we just did here with the screws is, is go to left-handed and make sure you have this button up here, press X and Y together when you click on here, the inverted, so that it will change both X and Y to this. Uh, and so now, before putting these bumper screws back in here, I'm going to connect it. And you can hot plug these scanners. I would recommend not hot unplugging it, but you can hot plug them, no problem at all. So in other words, the servo driver is running. The scanners are here. I'm going to hot plug. Just plug it right in, and it will go through a startup sequence and make sure that it's pointing in the right direction. Uh, I'll plug the other one back in, and... It will go through the startup sequence and make sure everything's okay and then start scanning and so you can see it's scanning right now uh and so at this point we know that the software is working right everything is is in the right shape uh by the way you can actually um change these even while the system is running so i'll, I'll have Ka uh, ryan do this wider angle camera view so that he can see both the scanners here and also the user interface software over here so i'm going to click the button here that says normal and you're going to see that the scanning will stop and then the, so the scanners will start up, go through a startup sequence, realize that they're pointing the wrong way and then start scanning. So, uh, but, but for this purpose here, we'll just kind of come back into in the inverted way and you'll see that the scanners automatically flip around and they, they, they point the right direction that they're supposed to be pointed. So, but the main thing is that to, to, to uh, change the software before you actually applies power to this to the scanners and so it's best to change the software then hot plug it make sure it's right and then so the last step would be to save this into the tuning right now i'm running up here in tuning number one i'm going to say tuning save to tuning number one right okay so now if you have multiple tunings um uh if you have multiple tunings like tuning two three and four which were for a right-handed entry, what you're gonna to have to do is come over here, say activate tuning number two, then come back in here and flip it and go to inverted and then save that tuning. And the main thing is don't put the bumper screws in until after all of this is done because the, you, you want the software to understand that which way it needs to drive the mirrors before you put the bumpers on. It's nothing catastrophic is gonna happen. I'll demonstrate that right now. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the screw in, you know, after the fact is we're, ju we're just about done with this. You know, we put it all together. I'm going to put the screws in. Um, and you don't screw them in there really, really hard. Just, just go to the point where they hit the kind of the base of their, um, you know, thing. And then maybe another eighth of a turn or something just to make them s secure. I'll plug it in. You'll see everything is going to work, but it still go through the startup sequence just like this here, and everything is fine, and it'll start scanning. Now, if I uh, flip the software over, if I, if I uh, then go into an inverted mode, let's say, for example, on, this, on the x-axis, I just click X on the software, and I'm gonna say normal, which is not right. So it's gonna go through the startup sequence and realize it's not really pointed in the right direction. So it doesn't really hurt anything if you put the bumpers in there earlier in the process, it's just not, it's not really going to be helpful for you, right? So usually what we do is we just put the screws on there last, uh, just after everything is working right, every, every, after everything is working the way you want it, then you can put the bumpers in there as the last thing, and then, you know, power down, and that's, that's that. So uh, 
Uh, so that's it. It's, it's no big deal. And so uh, but maybe one last trick here, to, and, and it goes into the trips and t tips and tricks um, category. Um, maybe come out here a uh, wide angle, Ryan. So one thing that's semi-obvious is that this, with this mechanical adjustment here of me loosening the screw and rotating the scanner, let's say I, I'm doing this and it's projecting an image onto our target screen, you can only get so, so close. You know, you can only get maybe a human being rotating this thing can only get maybe within a degree or so of where we really want to get from our central angle. So now to get that last fine tuning, get it as close as you can here and tighten it down. And then to get the last fine tuning, what you do is you come over here into the software, into the advanced tab, there is something here called position sensor offset. And so you just move this positive or negative as needed. And the way this works is you could type in a number like zero or one degree. Um, you can click the up and down arrow buttons like this, or you could just click here anywhere. It doesn't even matter where you click. Uh, and then just kind of scroll up and down and this kind of drags it. So this, this way you can kind of get some fine tuning on this. And so this is really how you get the last little bit of fine tuning on both X and Y axis. And the one, make, make sure you have either the X or the Y uh, selected, because if you, if you have X and Y selected, then this will be adjusting both of them. And for, for position offset, that doesn't make any sense at all. So click on X, you'd be fine tuning X. Click on Y, be fine tuning Y. Don't mess with any of these other ones. This is all factory calibration, but position sensor offset is fine. For users and then when you get done just save it into the tuning save the tuning number one okay yes it's fine and then we're we're good and then so so that way you get this mechanically as close as you can and then electronically you get it the rest of the way and uh and so that's uh just makes it makes it good so that's how you switch from right-handed entry to left-handed entry as you can see it's very simple with our system a um, couple of mouse clicks and um, rearranging them out and that's it. So hope you liked the video. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.